Hey YouTube, this is Jaden Storm coming at you from Team Strike, and this is going to be a new card segment that I'm going to be calling Card Talk. And Card Talk is going to be a segment where you guys suggest a new card, and in each episode I discuss any and all details that I can think of relating to the card. Now obviously for the first segment, I've selected the card that will be talked about. Um, but any other time that I do this, what you need to do is if, first off, if you guys like this, in the comment section below, tell me if you guys um, like this idea. Um, and also, if uh, you really do like it and you would like to suggest a card I do for the next episode of Card Talk, all you have to do is leave a comment below and tell me what the card is, and then I will, will uh, pick one of the, the cards that is suggested. And then in the next episode of Card Talk, I will... Um, review that card, and so on and so on and so on. And the person who suggests the card that I will do for the next episode of Card Talk, which I don't know when it'll be, it just depends on, uh, I guess, how uh, the the reception I get from this. I hope, I thought it was a good idea, so that's why I'm doing it. So if you leave a comment in this section of this video suggesting me to review the next card, if I select your card, I will also give you a shout-out. And if you also have any questions that... When I do this segment on this card or any cards in the future and you have a question about that card, you can always go to my Q&A segment and leave a comment there, and I'll be happy to answer it when I do my Q&As. So anyway, so for the first episode of Card Talk, I decided to review a card that I'm actually very excited for, um, and that is Light Elemental Pika. It is a grade one unit that will be released in Fighters Collection 2015 on June 19th of uh, 2015. <laughs> um, it is the same day that the Messiah Trial deck and the Ren Suzugamori Legend deck is released. Um, but that's what she looks like. Really cute little, looks kind of like a, I don't know what she looks like. She's she's cute as a button though. Um, so anyway, let's talk about her effects real quick. Her effect is Generation Break 1. <clears throat> when your opponent's unit attacks a vanguard, choose one of your vanguards, and if that unit's power is 10,000 or less, that unit gets plus 1,000 until the end of battle. And also continuous, this card is also of all clans and nations, as all Cray Elementals are. So let's talk about what this could possibly mean for the meta. Okay, so Light Elemental Pika. This, well remember all those past 10Ks that you just loved playing, but they kind of fell out of order once, I don't know, Limit Breaks came around, and Legion came around, and then Stride came around. It's kind of hard to play those old 10Ks that you really enjoyed playing. Um, there's very, very, very few that can still last in the meta, if any. Um, you know, but... I mean, I, I I was mad when a lot of the 10Ks fell out because there's a lot of good 10K vanguards. You have your you have your original Alfred and Soul Saver. Uh, I even you know uh, Scarlet Witch Coco, CEO, um, all the old 10Ks that we just grew up liking. I mean, I even liked Blazing Flare and. Um, you know, and there's so many others that I'm probably just not thinking of at the moment, but th they were just, they were fun, but at the time, they were the best we had, and then when everything that was a grade three that became, you know, what you needed, it became an 11K, so that means it became a lot easier for players to hit 15, which would be the magic number when attacking a 10,000 powered unit, so... Essentially, if I hit 20k against your 10, you got to drop 15k every single time. And it's real easy to hit 20 now. Very easy. We have cards that gain power just by attacking. So, I mean, look at the Royal Paladin Clan. I mean, they have Knight of Fragments, and then they have Altamile's Boost and his Heartbreak skill. A 10k Vanilla Vanguard against that deck would be just absolutely wrecked. So, it, it, it's kind of hard for... You know, all those past 10K vanilla, 10Ks that we grew up with that we loved, you know, I grew up with in the game, it's hard for them to survive just because of the sheer power that we can create from all of our clans now. Because let's face it, every clan has at least one or two, oh my god, this is broke things going for it. Some more than others, but you know, every clan I like to think at least has a reasonable chance to do well. That's the beauty of Vanguard. You can play whatever clan you want, and there are good things for every clan out there. I don't care what anybody says. There's people who are like, well, this clan can't survive just because, 
you know, your Kagros, your Royal Paladins, your Shadow Paladins, they're just so overpowered, and it's just like, every clan has a shot, guys. I don't care what you say. It's not the player that makes the deck. Um, I mean, it's not the deck that makes the player. It's the other way around. So, But I don't, I just don't understand that. So let's talk about Light Elemental Pika. So it gives 1,000 power to a 10,000 Vanguard when it's being attacked. Um, as long as you're at Generation Break 1. So you have to stride at least once in order to access this ability, which I... Is kind of a bummer. I wish... I, but at the same time, if you go second, it's actually not bad. Because you can ride your grade 3, immediately stride, and then peak is automatically active on your next turn. So I guess it would only be a little negative if you go first. Because if you go first, obviously you can't stride unless your opponent somehow superior rides to grade 3 before you do. Which that doesn't really seem, you know, in the game anymore. But anyway... Um... So, what this does is it lets us bring back some of those old cards. Now, something that, you know, that you might also be thinking about, well, wait a minute. If I'm in Legion, would that work? I don't honestly know about that one, but but it, what, one thing it made me think about is I you'll actually be able to make Majesty Lord Blaster a true 13k cross ride. You'll be able to take cards like if you want to rebuild some old decks from way back where you like where you like to play the original Alpha deck, where you like to play uh, CEO and all these, even Coco, which Coco's seeing a lot of play now in the Oracle Think Tank build just because that deck all it does is draw. It, it because the one downside to Coco is if you get stuck on Coco, you are boned. Um, but now if you can. If you can combine Pika in this deck, it can make, you know, your 10k vanguards that do have good effects, but they're just bad for your defensive purposes. It makes the, it makes it um, easier to protect them. You know, so it, it, it goes without saying, an 11k is miles better than a 10k. Because being able to hit 15 is so easy. Um, because you will lose your hand so fast and take so much damage. I mean, God forbid you're sitting on a 10K and your opponent strides on you. Um, you know, I mean, you're you're in deep shit if you don't have a perfect guard. But that's what this card does. It, it, it gives you the option to play those 10K, those 10K uh, vanguards that you do like from, say, your earlier days. Um, Blonde Ezel could actually make a pretty good comeback. Um... Pelinor, um, you know, um, there's all these great cards out there that, you know, they were great, but they're tens and it's like now they can be elevens and they can, they, you know, dare I say be relevant again. And, and, and that's great. I'm, I, I, I'm glad that Bushy Road is making this game to where the older cards have some value because if you follow what Yu-Gi-Oh does, what they do generally is they push cards for a good amount of time, then they take away a lot of their support, and then they just do away with them, and you don't see them for five, six years. And I don't think that's fair, because it's like, okay, I spent all this money on a deck, and then now you've basically taken it away from me, and I have to start over from scratch. And I don't think that's fair. Well, see, Vanguard does something, does something that is not even close to that. Okay, let's look at... You know what? Let's I guess let's look at one of my the deck I'm playing currently. Uh, let's look at the cross. Um, the end was seeing relatively no play because well I mean he just didn't match up against Perditions. He didn't match up against even some vague decks. You know, and then they were like, okay, here's the cross. You know, and then it makes it relevant again. That's 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 fun. And then you know, okay, now they're making Maelstroms viable again. And you know. They're bringing back, you know, just a lot of old cards, and they're making them viable again, and I love that. Um, the new stride for uh, blaster units that you can compare with Majesty Lord Blaster, that looks awesome. Um, you know, that is just, that is the kind of thing that I love about this game. They don't let cards just float off into non-existence. Now, unfortunately, some are going to do that, but they make sure they bring some back so they don't just say, okay, if... You can't, if you need to build upwards here, you can't build anything from the backward sets. And that's, that's what I love. And, um, Light Out uh, Pika does, you know, it allows us to play the cards that we just loved playing. 
um, you'll be able to just, I guess, be able to guard a little bit easier, which makes the game more fun and it actually makes the game last longer. So anyway, guys, um, Light Elemental Pika, what is your thoughts on this card? Um, do you like this card? Are you excited for this card? Are you going to play it? If you are, what 10K Vanguard are you going to try and bring back? Um, I have a couple ideas, I'm not going to lie, but <laughs> i got to wait till June until the card comes out. So anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Card Talk. It might have been a little lopsided, but that's because it's the first time I've done this. But if you guys do want more episodes of Card Talk, here's all you got to do. Like this video and uh, leave a comment below. Tell me what your thoughts are on Light Elemental Pika. And if you would like me to do another one of these, you can suggest which card I do next. Um, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. Um, so if you have a card you'd like me to talk about, leave it in the comment section below, and who knows, maybe I'll pick yours. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up this video, and I'll see you next time.